California's gold is produced in association with KCET Los Angeles and is seen statewide on California public television. This series is endorsed by the California Teachers Association, the California School Boards Association, and the California Library Association. Well, hello everybody, I'm Huell Hauser walking down the steps. And these just aren't any old steps either. These are very historic steps here in Los Angeles. These steps were made famous back in 1932 by Laurel and Hardy in their classic film, The Music Box. And if you'll remember that particular scene, it was quite a production for Laurel and Hardy to get a piano, a boxed up piano, all the way up these steps. It was a classic scene from a classic film. Well, of course, these music box steps are still here today for people to visit and enjoy. They're part of Hollywood's history. But this particular adventure is going to take us north of here, up to our state's capital in Sacramento, in search of some other very historic steps. Steps that end up being very much a part of California's gold. Okay, our adventure begins. We have come to Sacramento, our state's capital. We are standing in front, literally, of our state capitol building. Boy, I always get excited when I come here. It's such a beautiful building architecturally. We're here to talk about history and we're here specifically because you've gotten me excited about this on the telephone. We talked about this a couple of times. What are we here to talk about specifically? We are going to talk about historic steps at the Capitol today. Historic steps and staircases. That's correct. And this just proves that different people get excited about different things because <laughs> at first, I don't know whether people would get that excited about a show about historic steps, but you're excited about it. And I think from what you've told me already, I think our viewers are gonna be excited about what kind of reveals itself as we take this tour. I think so too. We'll give them some new uh, information to whet their appetites and inspire them to come down here and check it out themselves. All right, and you can't whet anybody's appetite any more than this first revelation. And I guarantee you, 99% of the people watching this program right now, including myself, have never heard of what you're getting ready to tell us about right now. Explain to us the story behind the steps in front of our state capitol. Okay, for starters, this was not in the original plans. What do you mean this is not in the original plans? Our original plans were the stairs were gonna go up to that second floor leveled up there that you see. Those doors that you see there on the second floor would have been the entrance to the Capitol. At the top of the steps. At the, up there on the second level. All right, now Terry has got, we've got some, something to back up your claim here. Hold it up for everybody to see. This is the drawing of what the original state Capitol was supposed to look like. And here are the steps yeah, the going all the way up to that second level. This is the drawing that was done by Reuben Clark, who was the original architect for the state capitol building. So the steps on our capitol were supposed to be like the steps on the United States capitol, which go, there's a whole big thing of steps going up to the second floor. Why don't we have big steps on the front of our capitol building? Well, um, in the past, just like kind of today, <laughs> There are money problems sometimes. Of course, there were a lot of other issues too, but that was one of them. This building started construction in the 1860s, and we stopped construction in 1872 because one reason is, you know, money, budgets. So we had a budget problem in the 1870s. This is nothing new we're doing no, here today. No, 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 it's not. The Capitol originally, when they had money, they worked on it. When they didn't have money, it's set here. But by the 1872, we're looking at post-Gold Rush years, post-Civil War years. We were hurting. 
Yes, the whole nation went into a, a depression at that area, or recession, however you want to so call it. So as the state capitol was being built, one of the places that the architects and the builders and the legislature could cut back on expenses was instead of the steps going all the way, and they would have started like out here, wouldn't they? They would have been this far out. They would have to up to lead up to the top. Yeah. And it reminiscent, obviously, of uh, neoclassical buildings of that time period that had Greek and Roman influence. Even our nation's capital have these beautiful stairs leading yeah. up to the front. And that was our goal to start with. So it got cut. It got axed in the budget wars of 1871 and 72. <laughs> That's right. They settled for these little steps. They're only about one, two, three, four, five, six, they're only about eight or 10 steps there. And they, instead of going up to the top level, second floor level, they just come right in almost ground level. That's correct. The plan was originally to go up to that level so that you would be on the same level as the entrance to the assembly chamber and to the Senate wow. chamber. Well, I got to tell you, in the past, I've always enjoyed walking in the front of the Capitol, coming up these steps, knowing what isn't here, kind of takes away from it a little bit now. It would have been a much grander entrance coming up the whole big flight of steps. Yeah, but we would have been out of breath then. That's true. You have to look at the positive side <laughs> yes, of it. There you All right, here we go. We've come up three steps here. We got four steps here, and we're inside the Capitol building, and we're not out of breath. Okay, we are inside our state capitol building. Our tour really begins, our inside tour begins, and I assume, is this the first stop? I don't know. These are our first stop. These are our first stairs that you're going to see when you come inside the state capitol Boy, building. Boy, look at this. Did there used to be gas up in these lights? Yes, all the lights in the building originally were gas lights. Uh-huh. Uh, we started getting electricity in the late 1800s. All right, let's, let's talk about the stairs. Let's go up these stairs because these are very elegant Yes, they stairs. are. Stairs. You feel this is solid wood here. And why are we talking about these stairs? Well, these stairs have an interesting history. It's kind of, they're here, they're gone, and they're back. So these first, the building was built in the 1860s. They were putting these stairs in in 1869. So they were here when the building was built. That's right. If you want to go upstairs, this is where you came. All right. Then what happened? Well, about 1906, the building got so crowded, they didn't have room enough for everybody to fit into the building with offices. So what they did is they tore these stairs out, and they put in offices on either side here. So they tore these out completely. These beautiful staircases And we placed them with functioning offices. With offices. But they still needed stairs. And we'll show you those stairs in a little bit after we get done talking about That's these stairs. That's another part of our stair tour. That's correct. But the stairs are here today. So they came back when? Well, in the 1970s, when we were doing retrofitting here at the Capitol to make it earthquake safe, they brought our stairs back. And we restored it pretty much to what it looked like around the 1900s. So you had really. old pictures. You knew what these things looked like. Boy, yes, these we, are beautiful stairs. We had old pictures. And we even found in one of the churches that had gotten one of the newel posts and part of the rail. So we knew exactly what they looked like. And when they looked at the walls, they found where the stairs went originally when they it's were doing the hard reconstruction. To find an artisan who can carve or make wood like this today. Ah, and another interesting story. The original stairs were made by a gentleman named Burnett. And by the time they brought these stairs back, his grandson was in business You're and kidding. his grandson actually worked on these stairs. Oh my gosh. Well, these are absolutely beautiful stairs. And again, it's a double set of staircases. And these are the first stairs you see. Now, are these stairs that tourist I mean I can go up and down the stairs anytime I want these are open to the general public they can go up these stairs right. and they can go up to the assembly chamber and the Senate chamber and to the other offices and, and even over into our newer part of the building wow. so these are functional historic stairs that were here left and have come back again <laughs> that's right Now's when things, boy, it's echoey in here too, isn't it? Yes, it, it? is. <laughs> A lot of echoes in the Capitol building. We have come off the 
hallway of the first floor in the old building. I'm getting my bearings because actually there's a lot to see in this building. It's kind of hard to, for the novice to know where you are at any one time. That is true. Okay, you brought us here to show us these stairs, and these are kind of secret stairs, aren't they? Well, that's what we like to think about, and we like to keep them secret because this is where most of us staffers can move up and down when the building is just crowded and packed. The tourists don't know about this. And look up here, Cameron. This is absolutely beautiful. Look it up. Now, that goes up how many stories high? On, on this side, four floors. Wow. Looks one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this can be very confusing for <laughs> okay, you. We won't even get into that. <laughs> yeah. But now these are the stairs that were built in 1906 to replace the stairs out front that we just saw that had been taken away and not brought back until 1970s. That's correct. Am I getting it all right? That's correct. In the 1906 to 1908 uh, period when they did some remodeling here at the Capitol, they took those front stairs out and uh, they put in these stairs so that people had a way of getting up and down in the building and they also put in elevators at the same time. Ah, so they modernized in 1906. Yes. Okay, we've run into two guys using the secret stairs. <laughs> these are kind of secret, aren't they? Not really. I think most people know about them. Well, most people who Especially work here. Especially when, when you get stuck in the elevators. Yeah, but not many tourists know about them. No, this is where we send people when we tell them you can't get there from here. <laughs> well, look, you're all kind of staffers. This is an inside staircase. This is for people who know this building, this right? Is, this is to get from place A to B to C and do it in time. This, <laughs> this is where we're, we, we, we're up on four old building. We came down to two old building, then we stairway back down to two new building, and it's this a is, little This is the stairway link. you use when you have to get someplace fast. Uh -huh. you don't have and you're messing with us now. We're not getting there. <laughs> oh, oh, I, want my, I want my government work done. Get to work, fellas. It's nice meeting you. I'm getting the idea. This is the stairs for people who work here and need to get to work fast. Okay, we're going from the newest section of the Capitol back here to the oldest section of the Capitol. And I got to tell you, Terry, this place is my favorite place in the entire California State Capitol building. We are right in the middle of the rotunda. And this is where all the tours start, where all the tourists come, and I bet you, I don't know for sure, but it's always basically looked kind of like it does today, hasn't it? Yes, that's right. The beautiful rotunda here is about 120 feet up here. It's like it was to start with. We had the beautiful second floor here, which leads off to the Assembly and the Senate. Why do the they have rotundas? Uh, in the in the early days when they built these buildings. Well, this architectural style is kind of neoclassical, but has a lot of Roman and Greek influence. And we think about our roots of government and democracy in the Roman and the Greek eras. And they were very fond of domes and arches and rotundas like this. Mm -hmm. So it gives us, you know, the feeling of government and democracy. And that's what we have here. Okay, this is technically called the Capitol Rotunda. Boy, it makes a statement. It is beautiful. It is big. It is high up. How high up is it? 120 feet. Wow, because it's hard. You kind of lose perspective when you look up there. <laughs> but as high as the rotunda is, from here up to the top, you said it's how high up? 120 feet. We, for our final set of capital stairs, and we've kind of saved the best for the last. I liked everything else we've seen so far on this tour, but we are actually going to go not just to the top of the rotunda. We're going to go higher up than this and climb some very secret stairs up there, right? That's correct. Are you ready for some exercise? <laughs> Here we go. We're going to the top of the rotunda and even higher than that. Now this is going to be a state capital stair step adventure that tops them all literally and figuratively. 
Okay, we have left the rotunda. We have climbed up three very steep steps of stairs. And look at this, Terry. This is, well, this tops anything we've seen so far. This is an amazing view of Sacramento. Where are we? Look at this. This is beautiful right up here. Where are we right now? We are on the outside edge of the dome. The, the outside Capitol. edge of the dome. And this is the base layer of the dome, the first columns uh -huh. that go up. So if you're looking at the Capitol, this is the first set of columns that we have at the base of the dome. Yeah, because I've never, I've always been down there looking up. I've never been up here looking down. Your day for a special treat. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in Sacramento. And look at this. This is the $5,000 view looking right out here. We're looking right down the mall at the... Capitol Bridge, Capitol Tower Bridge. This is such a wonderful panoramic view of the city and so few yep. people ever see this view. That's correct. Well, we're seeing it. Boy, look at this. Look how pretty this is up here, looking out through the columns at the blue sky. But we are not at our destination yet, are we? Nope. We've got to go up into the dome now. In, because we're on the edge of the dome right That's now. Outside edge. And to get into the dome, I assume these are the steps. These are the steps. Nice, steep little steps. Boy, they're narrow little steep steps. She's opening up the magic door, and we are going into the dome. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm not sure what I expected. I'm not sure I expected an echo like this, <laughs> but look, oh my gosh, how high up is this? Uh, the top of the Capitol comes to about 240 feet, and the top of this dome that you see right here is about 120 feet. Now so, this, wait a minute, this looks old. Is this the original Capitol built in the 1800s? Yes, we started construction of the Capitol in 1860, and of course it took a while to get up this far, but this part of the Capitol in the late 1860s, they were actually putting the ribbing on the top of this part of the Capitol in 1871. So this is the original top of the rotunda that we were down looking up at. That's exactly because right. look at these bricks. This is, this is the real thing right yeah, here. This is what's on the other side of you when you're downstairs looking up at the rotunda is a big brick ceiling. And look at this lattice work or this is that wood up there on the very top? It, it looks very old. That looks original. Yes. And look up here. Now this is all new. This part of the dome is all brand new. That's correct. Uh, in the 1970s, legislation was passed saying that all buildings need to meet earthquake standards. Yeah. Not that we have earthquakes in Sacramento. Uh, we feel little rolls once in a while, but we don't have any major earthquakes. Still, we had to meet the standards. So this is all brand new. Yes. Uh, 1972 to 1980, we did a reconstruction on the Capitol building, pretty much gutted it and reconstructed a lot of part. This is part of the reconstruction. But they literally took the old dome down and built a brand new one. Because uh, this all looks, this is all well, new. Well, they, they restructured around what was here because we want to keep it as historic as possible. So part of what we're going to see today is original. Part of it's part of the 1906 building on the Capitol. And part of it is that 1972 reconstruction. All right. This is old though right here. This is old, this is new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what is this up here? Let's walk. All right. Because I assume that to get to the top, and we are going all the way to the top, aren't we? That is correct. That we got to walk up these stairs, and I assume these stairs are sturdy and strong and able to hold us very well. That's what we did the reconstruction for. Oh boy, and you know what? You're beginning to get a little the strange up here. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of, 
little strange feel to it. The glass that you see right there is the glass that you see when you're down there 120 feet in looking the rotunda up. looking up. The light that reflects from these windows is what you see through the openings on the side and the top. Wow. All right, I'm ready to, as ready as I'm ever going to be, <laughs> to walk out. I'm following you. Right. On to the, boy, this has a strange <laughs> feeling to it. It's going to move a little bit too when we go up in the. What? Top. It's going to move around some more when we go up these spiral staircases. And how far up, how far are we from the top right now? About another hundred feet. Oh my gosh. Well, we're getting ready to leave the walkway and head up these spiral staircases. You got the key there? Where's that? Here comes the door open. And here we go. Wish us luck. <laughs> we are heading up these circular steps, two feet down, a hundred feet to go. Oh my gosh. And this just goes around and around and around and around. Wait a minute, let's stop here for just a second because this is a very interesting feeling. How many times have you done this? Uh, probably about half a dozen times. That's it? That's it because this area really isn't open to the general public. Who comes up here? Uh, well, I, different people at different <laughs> times, but they have to have special permission for security reasons now. Yeah. Years ago, it was open to the general public, but not anymore. You mean it. tourists used to be able to come up here? Anybody used to come up to the dome. Really? Back around the 1900, general public could come up here and could look at the dome and walk around, but that's not possible anymore. Wow, this is a, it's an amazing feeling just standing here and looking out. Now this is wood. That is correct. The original dome when they were putting it on in the 1871 uh, actually, they put uh, the outside of it was wood and then it was plated with copper on the other side of the wood. The outside part was copper. Correct. The inside was wood and it's That's still right. wood today. So this concrete has been reinforced, but the wood is still true to its original way the, the dome was built. Yes, it's historically accurate. Is this original steel? Um, yes, uh, most of the steel that was put in the Capitol in this part it was built in 1871. How's it holding up strength-wise? <laughs> well, it was, it was made in San Francisco, so you know, they did a good job over there on our... our Cast yeah, iron it's, that was in the capital. It's good and sturdy. All right, we're going up some more. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of movement. Yeah, These I stairs, noticed that. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> they're actually suspended from the cupola part at the top of the dome. This whole staircase is, is suspended. suspended. Correct, from the top. What's holding it up? Well, you see all these wonderful steel girders that we have no, around No, I mean, inside. what's holding us up? The staircase, I hope. <laughs> What's holding the staircase up? It is attached at the top of the cupola, at the top of this dome. The staircase is attached there, and it's supporting the weight and, of course, the whole stairs. Okay, now there are three of us plus the camera. That's not too much weight, is it? Let's hope not. I don't know why I'm asking all these uh, safety questions. It just They just are the questions that come to mind right now. Architecturally... This is beautiful, walking up these stairs and looking at the inside of the dome, looking down, looking up, looking to the side. It's very beautiful. It is. It's very amazing. I never get tired of it. It's, it's really interesting. And like you say, we can look at history. Going up these stairs, we're kind of looking at a time period that's changed over time, you know, as we've needed changes. And that's kind of the story of the Capitol. It's changed with the times as it's needed to. But something else is that you're seeing the Capitol from the inside looking out, not from the outside looking in. That's correct. It's beautiful inside this dome. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful dome. Okay, last hurdle to overcome. And now we're seeing the mall and the bridge from even higher up than we were. Well, how much? Oh, look at this. 
We're looking down, look at all those little people down there. How high up are we right now, Terry? We're probably about 230 feet because we still have some up above us. The top of the Capitol is about 240, so. Let's stand over here and be careful. I don't want to step through the opening from the trap door there, but look up here. This is the actual tip top. Right. Of the, well, actually, there's probably even something above this, isn't there? There is. Uh, the other side of this little dome on the cupola is gold-plated. And on top of that, there is a gold ball that's about 30 inches tall. Gold plated? Gold plated. Both are gold plated. Because as much money as we need here in the government, in the budget, I'm surprised they haven't taken the gold off the top of the Capitol and cashed it in. <laughs> Let's hope they don't get that idea, okay? But it's gold plated up <laughs> it's here. It's gold plated on the other side of the cupola and on top of the dome. Wow, this is just amazing. We have done it. And this wonderful view of the city here, this again is called the cupola. 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 Yes. And it's been here since the Capitol That's was right. built. You're touching some of our original cast iron columns that came from San Francisco. Yeah, because listen. Yeah. That's cast iron. So That's this cast is iron. original as well. Yeah, the, these are the topmost Corinthian columns here at the Capitol. Wow, this has just been beautiful. Who would have ever known that the stairs, that the steps of the California State Capitol had that much history to them? But you have showed us that history, starting down in the front of the Capitol with the steps that were supposed to be there that were never there, and then ending up here, winding up this cast iron staircase in the dome all the way up to the cupola. Thank you very, very much. This is a, this is kind of an obscure part of our history, isn't it? It is, it's a wonderful part though. What a great view we have of this part of Northern California. But I mean the whole stair history, all the stairs in the, the Capitol. The stairs, when we got a lot of them, don't we? Yeah, and you <laughs> see, history is where you find it. It can be something as simple as a set of stairs that you use every day and just take for granted. That's correct. She doesn't take them for granted and she has shared her love of stairs, her love of steps, her love of the Capitol, her love of California history with all of us. This has been our adventure on the staircases, on the steps of the California State Capitol, these wonderful historic steps that are very much a part of California's goal. Give everybody a wave, Terry. We had to do this. We sent Cameron down to the south lawn. He's at ground level shooting up. This is the way you usually see the top of the Capitol. And we're up here on top of the cupola, on top of the Capitol, on top of the world. We went in search of California's gold and boy, have we found it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Now we gotta go back down. It's all about our state capital's steps. And if you'd like to go on this high-stepping adventure again or share it with family or friends, it's available on DVD. All you have to do is call 1-800-266-5727 and we'll be glad to send it to you right away.